What if they gave an election and no one voted? Well, that didn't exactly happen in Los Angeles on Tuesday, but almost. The preliminary estimates are that fewer than 10% of Los Angeles voters actually cast ballots, even though there was a flock of city council races at stake. What's going on here? Los Angeles County traditionally has very low voting uh, levels, much lower than the state as a whole, which are very much lower than other states, by the way. But Los Angeles has been a particularly low vote, voter turnout county, and the city of Los Angeles, if anything, is even worse, particularly when it comes to city elections. It's hard to say there's a democracy when fewer than 10% of the voters voted. Ironically, though, those few that did vote, voted for a couple of ballot measures that would shift Los Angeles city elections and those of Los Angeles schools to even-numbered years, away from odd-numbered years, like 2015, to even-numbered years, make them coincide with the elections that have for governor and for president, depending on the year. City leaders say that will raise voter participation, and it probably will, at least a little bit, but even, but even in those kinds of elections, Los Angeles voters don't turn out very well. The biggest effect of passing those two ballot measures might be that several members of the city council get to extend their terms because of the transition period, including the president of the city council, Herb Wesson, whose idea it was to change those elections. And Mr. Wesson, therefore, would be able to continue in office for a little bit longer, just long enough until a county board of supervisors seat opens up in his area. So is this good government, or is it just political ambition? And what it is, what is it about Los Angeles voters that they just don't care what happens in politics?